Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log x raised to the power x equals to log 48 on this side. The next step here, we apply the power of log n. What we have log m raised to the power p. This same thing as p log m. At this here, we have x log 8 equals to log 48 on this side the next step here divide both side by log 8 that is divide this side by log 8 also divide this side by log 8 which implies here log 8 cancel each other here this becomes x equals to log 48 over log 8 then here we can write 48 as 8 times 6. All we have becomes x equals to log 8 times 6 over log 8. Then this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this can be expressed as log a plus log b. That is this. What we have here becomes x equals to log 8 plus log 6 over log 8. Then, next step here, separate is into two fractions. We have x equals to log 8 over log 8 plus log 6 over log 8. As this here log 8 cancelled each other here we have 1 which implies x equals to 1 plus log 6 over log 8 that is next step here also 6 can be written as 2 times 3 then what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 times 3 over log 8 and this also follows the log logarithm we can write as x equals to 1 plus log 2 plus log 3 over log 8 that is we separate this into two fractions and this becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 8 plus log 3 over log 8 and from here also we can write it as 2 times 2 times 2 which is the same thing as 2 raised to power 3 and this here we have x equals to 1 plus log 2 over log 2 raised to power 3 plus log 3 over log 2 raised to power 3. Now we apply the power of logarithm here. That this 3 comes here and also here. This becomes x equals to 1 plus log 2 over 3 log 2 plus log 3 over 3 log 2. Then here yeah, we have log 2 cancel each other here. Yeah? This becomes x equals to 1 plus 1 over 3 plus also here yeah, we can have 1 over 3 times log 3 over log 2. Then next step here yeah, 1 plus 1 over 3 can be written as 1 number 1 over 3 which is the same thing as 4 over 3. At this here we have x equals to 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 3 over log 2. Then here we apply change of this. What we have log a over log b. This is the same thing as log a to base b. At this here we have x equals to 4 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 3 base 2. 
Then we bring this together as some fraction, and we have x equals to the same made as 3, and we have 4 plus log 3 base 2. As this is the value of x here, we have x equals to 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. Then let's check here. We just satisfy this given problem. As this is substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. As this, all we have here becomes 8 raised to power 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. Is it equals to 48 on this side? That is, yeah, we can write it as 2 raised to power 3, which is raised to power 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3. Is it equals to 48 on this side? This power multiplies. 3 here cancel each other. We have 2 raised to power 4 plus log. 3 base 2 is this equals to 48 on this side. Then we apply the law of indices. What well, we have a raised to power n plus n, which is the same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n. At this here, we have 2 raised to power 4 times 2 raised to power log 3 base 2. Is this equals to 48 on this side? 2 raised to the power 4, 2 multiply itself 4 times, that's 16 times. A follows what we have, A raised to the power log, B to base A, which is equals to B. At this A we have 3, is it equals to 48 on this side. 16 times 3 equals 48, which is equals to 48 on this side. We have the left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore we conclude that x equals to 4 plus log 3 base 2 all over 3 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up put your comments and see you in next class bye for now